All right, we back. Part two. Let's get into it, fellas. I wonder if y'all believe me if I say this is my second time doing this video, too. I'm sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. These kids are different. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her to apologize. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were. Just not like she thought. I hate I do she that. Knew we were sharing answers. We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Remember these? It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us, in some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Um, Mom, about me joining the hockey team. Mom. Sorry, what? Oh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised. Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. Boy. You always say that. Mm. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah. And completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She, she was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I missed the cold winter nights curled up with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Oh, that's right. I remember now. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. You'd come out of one of the prize machines after checking the score, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic. Out pops a sticker. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. I hated hanging fish. drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked. Trying to make sure I don't miss nothing. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Huh. This vacuum still smells like Marianne. Good job in that you did a vacuum. We were so competitive about who measured taller. 
like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all of that, you landed in the cab. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. You can't open none of these windows. There were so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Oh, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade stain. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, and now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, just plotting for world domination. Ah, it's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Where'd you come from? this this feels like home so much for my dream of being a hockey star i mean we thought sports were too aggressive too competitive and too risky look what i found what only our greatest creation the book of goblins <laughs> seriously it was in that chest the whole time. all these stories i had ideas for so many more marianne wrote a lot of them yeah one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You were looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming she told me right to my face she was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning Tyler there is no way you could have known she'd go that far I 
want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it right now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Mm, that's tough. Shh. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Shh. Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. I'd rather you called him Steve Brown if you're gonna be an acrobat. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. Finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. <sighs> and then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Mm, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! I... I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too kind. Yeah, this was way before video games. They had a lot of time on their hands. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna get this thing.
thing, go to another. Okay, I was about to say. I think I actually Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I'm as as smart as I think I am. Basically, the keys to solving is the gifts. It took me a little minute. I edited some of it, but I edited some of it out. You couldn't tell because I was on the same page, but it's the gifts. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Moose bear pelican. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything. They shut me out, Tessa. They shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's, it really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Uh, this explains a lot. She must have fled. She was too stubborn to take medication. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Marianne liked it. Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn suit. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell.
Mm. Wake up call, Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Mmm, that's tough. getting a lot more interesting. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? You're making it look like there's some possession going on. God. Uh. Mom? Oh no. 
this is wrong. This is all wrong. The mom didn't look like it was about to hurt Tyler, though. Like she was about to hurt. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Facts. Let's ask her about it. Sure. And I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. It would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this was about. Maybe a little... yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Del Monte Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. 
I wanted to fake you a crappy box cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. see anyone I just started testosterone and oh god I had the worst acne my emotions were all over the place and the smells Allison the smells men smell bad I know I've dated a few look I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try does that make sense yeah yeah it does So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. That's really what you need. All right. Deal. So that must be their connection, like when I get some right. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Hmm. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyra. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. <sighs> All right, I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister. A social butterfly. <laughs> See, she throwing me off. She is on a boat. She got to check in. Got to respond to a message. Like, mm. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? Ain't that the same gun? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn. You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Well, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. 
We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like, patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. It's, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I kind of took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Well, of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? As much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? Did you ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh so, uh, I guess hmm? you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well. She may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of them? But he's too wasted to be of any more help. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... All right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And, and you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh place it meant a lot to your mother it almost felt like you know, it was a part of her and it's like some part of her is alive here still 
Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself. Uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. This is getting a lot more interesting. That hoodie dope. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Let's go ahead and meet Michael. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> What's that? Mm. And Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry. She won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey... I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... <sighs> Never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let part two in right there. We're going to be back right from this spot. I appreciate you coming through. And I'll see you in the next one.